Hi, good morning, body of Christ. Praise Jesus. Today is the day the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. So I just wanted to encourage you. I know I'm driving. That's fine, because the Lord, when he moves, I need to be obedient. And I just wanted to um, exhort you in the Lord. I feel the, the need to encourage the brethren. Um, I know that we have our peaks and valleys. There are seasons where we feel that the Lord is not near, but he is always near the brokenhearted. He restores our soul. He gives us strength when we are weak. He lifts up those who are weary. Jesus says, cast your cares upon me because I care for you. And sometimes in this life, we might um, just go through those those periods. I know when I first came to the Lord, the enemy just had an attack on me. I mean, I could not get a break for three years. I just, I felt like, what is this, this, what is the point in following Christ? And I just knew it was an, an attack on the from the enemy because I knew I was going to get over it. And praise Jesus, I'm... I'm over a lot of the trials I've gone through. I was going through a financial trial. I just called out to God. I mean, I was just like, Lord, I don't see why I'm going through this. I've I've repented. I've turned from the sin of alcohol and drugs and the life of sin. And I'm, I'm trying so hard to honor you with my life. And it just felt like a an endless battle, I'm telling you, a people coming against me. I mean, the enemy will use neighbors, they'll use your family, they will use, you will use anybody to discourage you and to feel like it's not worth it. It's not worth what I'm going through. I'm telling you, um, the Bible says that if when you depart from sin, you make yourself pray. I don't know if that's in Isaiah or what. But when I read that, um, the time, I was like, this is so true. Uh, you know, we're in the world that is not our world. The God of this world is the enemy. And when we become children of light, as we are, when Christ comes into us and he dwells in us, the enemy just hates it and he wants to attack us and he just he'll use he'll use um anybody to bring us down so i just uh want to just encourage you right now because if you're going through trials right now trust god he's gonna get you through it he will get you through it my aunt had sent me something oh gosh praise you jesus uh oh praise you lord she knew i was going through a hard time and uh, basically it was um, it was something that was from Billy Graham and it says that flowers are made in the peaks and in the valleys, not the peaks. So when we are going through the, the valley of life, um, God is just creating so much more purpose for us, so much more meaning. <laughs> So don't um, be discouraged when, when we're going through the valleys of life. Uh, just know God is making it and he has called us to a purpose. He has called us to his vision. He has called us to his hope. God loves us so much. He's not going to leave you ever. And I just wanted you to know, I might be weeping right now because God is just bringing me to those moments and he's just impressing on my heart his love for me. And it just makes me weep because I finally have experienced joy from those pe those valleys. And there is joy. There is an everlasting joy. He puts a new song in our heart. He is there to lift us up when we are weak. I just know brethren especially if you have gotten out of like addiction and drugs and just a life of sin and you just feel heavy and burdened just know he is by your side he is not far from you and the Lord loves you so much I just feel his love right now it's just amazing praise you Jesus he loves you so much he loves his children so much and he knows 
I, I just feel like um, this morning too when I was in prayer, I just saw the Lord just, he was just crying over, he was crying over his children who were in addiction. It was like, I could just see him putting down the bottle, putting down the needle, putting the pills down and just putting them down and then hugging his children enveloping them with his love. Oh, praise you, Jesus. Such a, there is such a profound depth of love that God has for everyone. It's so deep. We can't even understand his love. Like, I just feel a piece of his love sometimes. And it just envelops me. And I just know that's just a fraction of what his love is. Because just think, if if God, if God could send his son, like, just think of the depth of that. If God could send his son, his only begotten son, who he made from the foundations of the world to die for us, that is so deep, that is so profound, the love of God and the mercy of God. Just know God has mercy and he has love. And if you're struggling, please call to Jesus. Just call on him. I know it's the same message I always give. But I have to say I have to say it cuz I struggled with alcohol addiction. I struggled with drugs. Um just a life of sin and man, it just convicted me and I hated it. God brings the Holy Spirit to convict the world of sin and lead us in truth and he wants us to call out to him and help us in our weaknesses. Jesus is so much stronger than the world. Greater is he that is in you, brethren, than he who is in the world and praise Jesus for his mercy. God is so good. Just praise him right now. Give him praise. If you're sick, if you're dealing with addictions and sins, praise Jesus. Just keep praising him. I'm going to press on that for anybody because there is power in praise and worship. He showed me ribbons and just how Israel um, would, would lift a banner of ribbons for um, worship to the Lord and if the enemy would come in, just lift a banner, lift the banner of Christ. Um, lift his banner, know that he loves you, call to him, and just know in the peaks there is going to, in this valleys there is going to be a peak, and God is going to get you through it, he is so good, he is so good, praise you, um, I just bless you in the name of Jesus, and I ask God to just cover the body of Christ right now, to strengthen them in their time of suffering, in their time of trial. In their time of chastening, Lord, because you love them and you are merciful. So be blessed in the name of Jesus. God bless. Bye.